I'm about to see it. I'm excited and I'm very nervous. Why am I nervous? Because if Zelda from Pet Cemetery freaked me out as much as she did, how much more is this freaky clown gonna freak me out? Let's go find out. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for It. Now, I haven't seen the original It with Tim Curry as Pennywise, so it was kind of cool for me to go into this completely cold with nothing to compare it to, because I think what made this movie more intense for me was not knowing if any of the kids were supposed to die, if any of the kids were going to die, or anything like that, so that kind of added a little bit of intensity for me not knowing or not knowing what to expect or to really have anything to compare it to so i think that sort of helped my experience because overall like i got a lot of hype this was going to be really scary after seeing you know zelda and pet cemeteries like oh i'm kind of nervous because this clown is supposed to be really scary honestly i didn't really find this movie that scary i thought it was intense I thought it was fun, and I had a good experience with it, but I didn't really find it that scary. I mean, they're just things that were kind of predictable to me. They weren't predictable to the point that it pulled me out of anything. It's just, you know, it's like there were some things in the trailer, you know, like the you'll float too, and then the, you know, clown head coming out of the water, and it's like, you know, he chases after the kid, and it's like, okay, yeah, I, I kind of knew that jump scare was coming. So there were just... A few moments like that however as much as I want to tell you it wasn't scary and it was intense there was one scene that made me jump out of my chair and my friend who was sitting next to me thought that was hysterical but it made me jump out of my chair beyond that though not the scariest Pennywise was an awesome character Bill Skarsgård did an awesome job in that role again I don't really have Tim Curry to compare it to but for what I saw in this movie Bill Skarsgård did an amazing job that is one absolutely creepy clown that I want absolutely nothing to do with whatsoever I mean he's creepy in just the way he talks he's creepy in his voice and he's creepy in the fact that he's got the one lazy eye thing going where it's like who is he's staring at seriously so he was a really good scary clown I mean yeah I could understand why like if it was that scary back in the you know the 90s and stuff yeah this is why people grew up being scared of clowns it was a scary clown and some of the scary things they did with the clown like he'd be like acting over the top and dancing and things like that but because of the overall creepy context of the movie like that over the topness was like even more creepy and then like the camera would like his face would be perfectly still on the screen and everything around him would be moving like that so like that some cool effects around him and he was a really great villain in this movie i think something else that made this movie really good was like all the child actors in this were really good like all the main kids i thought they were hysterical i thought they all had great chemistry together i liked each of their individual personalities i liked their humor i just thought they all meshed really really well together and in this little town like these kids were like the only characters that were like truly good so like i actually cared what was happening with these characters their dialogue was all written all that stuff it was done so well so when there was trouble i was on the edge of my seat hoping that these kids would be all right i mean this is a town full of idiots i think and these kids are like the good characters in a town of idiots so if everybody in this town I, I i wanted nothing bad to happen to the kids so whenever the scary stuff or the intense stuff was going down i was like no don't hurt these people don't do that and so i thought those child actors did a really good job getting us all engaged like i mean i was engaged with what was going on so i really enjoyed that uh, I thought all the adults in this town, at their very best, they were just negligent. And at their very worst, they were just straight up abusive. There are like no good or smart adults in this town. So I started to pick up on why. I mean, it's a town that every 27 years is haunted by a demon clown that kidnaps kids and kills people. So it's like, yes, this is a very bad situation. These are scarred adults and things like that. But at the same freaking time... If you live in a town with a demon clown, move. What what would compel you to not only stay, but have children in this town and raise a family in a town with a haunting demon clown? What are you freaking thinking? I don't know. This is worth like stupidity. But then beyond the stupid adults in this that were either ignoring their kids or abusing their kids, then you got, you know, the bullies 
who went beyond just being your typical average bully to just plain evil. I mean, to the point where it's like Pennywise was less scary to me than some of these bullies. The bullies were a double-edged sword. I mean, the good part is the actors playing the bullies did that good of a job that I really did not like them. I mean, they, they portrayed those roles well. But I guess where the sword cuts the other way is like when one of the bullies was in a really scary situation and scary things are supposed to be happening, there was no tension for me in that scene because I didn't like that guy and I didn't care what happened to him. In fact, I was like, get him Pennywise, sick him. And so it's like, oh, I felt bad for even thinking that. But it's like, that's how bad these bullies were. So yeah, great actors, but it also cut that other way where, you know, I, I wanted the clown to come for them. Leave the good kids alone. Go for the freaking bullies. I don't know. Overall, here's what I'll say. I mean, the acting was good. The writing was good. I thought overall it was put together very well. I didn't regret being there even a little bit. I had a great time watching this movie. Um, I think I was supposed to be more scared than I actually was, and I promise this is not me putting on some tough guy front. I'll admit it, I jumped the one time. I jumped. I was kind of hoping to jump more, but I don't know. I just didn't really find it that scary. I didn't really find this movie to be, like, that unique. But overall, though, it's a good movie. I think it's worth seeing on the big screen. I don't really have a huge desire to go see it again. I'm probably not going to rush to go get it on Blu-ray, but I think I'm going to walk out giving this movie a B+. I did enjoy my time in the theater. I did enjoy watching it, but... I don't feel in a great big hurry to go see it again. So what did you think of this movie? Make sure to let me know in the comments. Did you disagree with me? Then I would love to have a conversation with you about that. So let's talk in the comments. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Next to the subscribe button is the bell. Click it so you're notified the moment I drop new videos. Got all kinds of things on this channel from, you know, spoiler-free reviews, spoiler talks, ranking videos, trailer reactions, this thing I do called a theological analysis that is really fun, state of the DCEU videos where we dig deep into the news of DCEU, fun stuff. So make sure you check all that out. I'm Durbin. Thank you for checking out Durbania. <laughs>